But, Dad, the other big news in hockey was uh, Dave Tippett and the Edmonton Oilers. Yeah, and Jay Woodcroft. Uh, you know, this. You know who is that guy? Uh, he was an assistant coach. He played six years in the, in the minors, which I kind of like. <laughs> assistant coach for the Sharks for seven years. Uh, Oilers assist for three years. And uh, he went down and play, and he was a coach. You, you, was, you know, when you're assistant, Cindy, well, and Tim, mm-hmm. everybody comes to you with all their problems, and <laughs> the, the head coach is a bad guy. You have to be a head coach. And he went down to the, the American. So what did they do when you were coaching the Bruins and you didn't have an assistant coach? They just bitch among themselves? or <laughs> I don't know. I, I never thought of that. I had two guys. They went to Schmatzy. Go uh, to Don and Yeah, I go to Schmatzy, I guess, and. If you wanted, so wanted. that's so. You, so you've said that before, though. You said that if a guy's an assistant coach too long, yeah, and he, you have to learn. Yeah, you have to. You have to be in a. Plus, he got a reputation, right? This well, guy, he's a good yeah. assistant coach, but not a head coach. So he went down and coached the Condors in Bakersfield, and uh, for he three won. years, eh? he won the Calder Cup, and he won the Calder Cup in two twenty. But the guy, I, the guy behind the bench is, you know, and I feel sorry for Tippett, but he's kind of happy. Uh, and you know it's a funny thing. He get fired after a game where he had forty some shots. Where he, sh- well, well, yeah, they, against Chicago, but yeah, they, they, but they lost. And, and but they, you could tell the players semi were. Anyhow, the the guy they're going, he's going to have. I hope behind the net. Well, I hope so. It's Dave Manson behind the bench. Yeah. Oh boy, is he was he a, he was he was one of my favorites. Remember the fight he had with Simmons with or Scott Stevens, Stevens? Scott Stevens. Yeah. Remember yeah. the fight. No. Well, he was at one time, he was probably one of the most feared guys in the oh, league. Oh, boy. I remember, I, now that I'm into it, I remember he was he was off the ice one time, and he was just going off the ice. And, it was in Toronto. There was a big fight. Yeah, it was and a big they, they were, uh, And he was just about to step off, and I said, well, no, he won't get spent for that. Well, well, what happened was, that, so there was a big fight, and they were, remember, behind the net yeah. in Maple Leaf Gardens, so he had one foot on like on the off the ice and one foot on the ice and then the big fight broke up again and he turned around and joined the fight yeah and then you and ron came on and ron says well i think he's going to get 10 games 10 games no 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 he's not getting 10 games he, boy that was a good fight and that, then he did though he did get suspended so when, he got the 10 games so yeah. when you used to say to ron oh you're trying to get another guy suspended is no, this who didn't. you're referencing that's right i've ever go early in his i've ever said after the thing see way to go you buried him right now the yeah, nhl's got to do it yeah. Yeah. no no he's got to give him but we had him on the grapevine show yeah know. and he talks like that and folks i'm going to talk like this is how he talks because he got a buck on his throat i thought he'd get it and i said boy i'd say better I listen to him because he doesn't they're going to have the tougher th- there's a tougher guy behind the bench than uh yeah that's, that's <laughs> say, Dave, he might scare guys on the other team yeah. anyhow tell tell us about the time he went, he flew to the grapevine yeah he was uh, he was out west and um he flew to the grapevine and he i think he took like 16 hours to get to the grapevine he came in just before we were taping and he was all you know kind of disheveled and and but it was funny though he he couldn't he could barely talk and he got hit with a puck and it cracked his uh, like vocal box or something like that. I thought so, he'd get that fixed. I guess it's, I don't know if he still talks like that or not. Well, I but, I think he, I saw him interviewed. He's still. But it's funny though. Like I I remember listening to uh, uh, listening to uh, 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 some of the guys on TV, some of the play by play guys or color guys, and they were talking. And when they bring up because his son plays for yeah, oh, uh, his son is really good and too. They, you know, there's That's a lot of teams him. trying to get him because he's. Yeah. And they say, oh, I remember his dad. And everybody just like, oh, you, did, you didn't want to cross him. <laughs> Two, and, and you know another big thing I, 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 sh- I should have mentioned when I talked about Marshawn, or Tuka Rast has uh, retired too. Yeah. Uh, they're they're going to have a tough time. I thought he'd come back and play like uh, – he was he was he was mediocre when he came back. I thought he'd get a lot better. Yeah, he had a tough last couple of years, right? Yeah, you know, like he was injured and his hip didn't didn't go. It's too bad. But now, uh, don't forget uh, and and uh, one of one of my favorites too, Craig Berube got a three year extension on his contract, which is pretty good. You well, know, he so took a last place. He took the last place club club uh, when he took over. It was they were in last spot and he bought, he won the Stanley Cup. Yeah. So if you were. Um, you know, Jay Woodcroft, like, what do you do with Edmonton? <laughs> well, first of all, uh, he, it's going to be a new look to him, and I think that uh, he, he knows what's going on. And the first thing I'd do is try to get the goaltender straightened around. 
and I tried to get a new goalie. <laughs> That's not him. I, I keep saying, I know people laugh, and I was saying, I if I was him, I'd go after that Spencer Martin in Vancouver because you know you get him for a song. Yeah, he's not. You well, know, he'd be the, under the cap because he's not making much. And he they might be, not want to let him go. But and he might be he might be another he could be another billion. Remember we he, saw him play Tim? Oh he was as they say, he was one of the best uh one of the best goalies at that age I think I've ever seen. Yeah. You know, so, so Yeah, that, he was he could really he was like it was like a guy about forty years old. He could just kick him out he was, and, and and every shot he never let up a rebound. No. 